Okay, that's what we call here the dog's bollocks. That's nice, just nice. Just what the lad wanted. Just in case the leads go straight away, take the gearbox out of drive. Just going to flash that face, put a little taper on there, and then we'll part it off. That's nice. Not rattling the bolt, but not tight. Pinned on the alley. I'm just going to speed it up because obviously the the cutting speed gets slower the closer in the centre you get. I turn it one five five. We'll go up at two ninety. Nothing wrong with cutting the last quarter of an inch by hand. I'm going to replace it anyway. As long as you use one there, it's just your damage in the layer's bed. Put some nice thin aluminium sheet. I'll just wrap that around there so we're doing damage the the nailed finish. All I need to do is face the bollocks man. Face this off and then put a nice light shampoo on.
that's nice. All I want now is a little chamfer on that outer edge. Slow it down to do that. That's prevented any any damage. Right, and that's going on there quite nicely. What I need to do now is weld this this boss gets welded into a bit of plate which goes on top of his oil tank. I think you should be quite happy with that. See the difference there between the, the left hand and the right hand thread. I'll keep that bit of reminders to not do any more. That's the crankiest door. That's coming off today so we can gain access to the bottom end of the engine. You know the cast iron ones? That's, that's the bronze one. New cast iron. These are the glands that seal the. It's the steam keeps the steam inside the, the back of the cylinder for the, cylinder, yeah. the forward stroke. New piston rod. Yeah, that's uh, chromium plated steel. Right, this is what we glue it on top. Right. <laughs> I'm dry. Stop swearing. Oh. <laughs> what happens is a lot of people are supposed to fill these up with oil, a lot of people don't. And can you see the wear in the teeth there? Yeah. That's what happens. Because this, these are just bronze. This one drives the compressor, this one drives the dynamo. Okay, so dynamo obviously runs faster. Yes. Yep. Yes. Because then, uh, these were all fitted to the pneumatic tied Sentinel DGs. Right. Because um, even though they had the electric lights uh, and also the compressor as well to blow the tyres up, because when these were on the go, there wasn't many garages we could pull oh, in to blow them. Certain maintenance. Yes. This is in the crankshaft, yes? It is, yes. Yep. So um, we'll put the spanner in there and turn it over. Right. right. A healthy looking big end. This is all splash lubed. It's a hard left try not to swear. It's difficult. It is difficult. Here it comes. It's Christmas. Oh, yeah, my God. What's that for there? I said, bugger. The damn thing's going to hang on. The last. last. But it's not going to win. Come on, come to daddy. There we go. Oh, and there's a piston in. What bore's that? Do you know what I've had on it? Yes, it's six inch. Six inch bore. Yes. I want to put the screw up. 
Oh, give it all, will you? Big. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's not a thing. It's nine inch. Oh. Nine inch. Yeah. I know all these figures, but I'll tell you what, the older you get, the dafter you get, and you get the more forgetful you get. Ah, look at that, you know, you see the film of rust there? Yeah. It doesn't do steam engines any good. Stand still. Standing still. Definitely not. Right, I really need a pair of pliers, but... So the idea is split pin, big nut, and then... Then, uh, yes. Then, then, then it's, fortunately, there's no... Tip, there's no Woodruff key right. or tape lock on the piston is just uh, leave the piston up, it's up this end, right? Yes, yeah, which is my it goes, stops this end, it goes to the end, you know. Aye. That ball's bending me, it is. There's a sock to settle, you can across there, you know. Yeah, I've got me gas torch here as well. Aye, uh, maybe. Um, Put a bit of heat in the bit, you know? Yeah. Hey. Heat is your friend. My friend? Heat is everybody's friend. The what? Heat's everybody's friend. Yes. I just thought the cross, the cross had circuit to come out because we put a new piston on it. I just keep saying we're just changing the bloody seals, but I'm not. Aye. It's got to come right over there. That's right. Ow. And we saw there. Oh gosh. Gosh. I must have been drunk when I put that bugger in. Operation, <laughs> of course. Because it's a very big bolt. We'll be taking the FT very tight. Yeah. Come on. You see, every, every bolt and every nut number. Yes. That's what they did in them days when it was hand fitted. Yep. Need the ratchet. Oh, didn't John? Yep. Can I get the window gun in there? Right, turn. Ratchet. Ratchet, please. You can see in there with this two camshafts in there as well. This engine's actually operated by popping valves. There's a camshaft in the top and the one on the bottom. And they'll work these, which are push rods. And they open and close your valves. And basically, it is a steam engine, but it's using internal combustion engine technology part of the way with the potted valves. Uh, the American way of snap on. Uh, yeah. Tears a bit, yes. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to use the hammer as a drift, which I hate doing because it damages the base of the handle, but I ain't touching that with any stick. She comes. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. I'll start cooling. Oh, so this is the man I want to speak to. Hello, guy, how are you doing? That. It is, isn't it? It's an oily. Yes. If I splash a little bit and seal the oils. Gorgeous, sir. Uh. Oh, the shims. Shims, yeah, bronze shims. Oh, yeah. 
to the hand that was right in. Yes. The foam is out. And we've got a piston on it, and he whistle away. Or maybe button to the moment. The bottom end's quite modern, really, isn't it? Like the, the way the rod's been made, the way it's been forged. Yeah. Well, it's the same practice as a garden of these landed. Yeah. That, that one's stainless, is it? Stainless steel, yeah. I've the seen worse, it's not, it's not that bad, but... The new, not, one's, the new one's crew up rod, isn't it? Yes. Got it right the other one's okay, which I can't understand. Don't know what's gone wrong there. See, the heaviest there. Eh? I hate to wait, The cheeky monkey. <laughs> not as the monkey, not twat. Aye. That collar pin stops that. Yes, spinning around. Spinning, yeah. The old bearings, they were badly worn, they were elongated. Right. The slots, hmm. Still got them. Okay. Richard Campbell did all these for us. Yeah? Richard Campbell did all these. You've got a nice job of He has. Perfect, just perfect. Just perfect. So you've got one seal keeps out in the crankcase and one seal keeps steam in there? Yes. The cylinder? Yes. Well, come and record. Recording what? You only have foul language. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. <coughs> Turn the crankshaft back a touch. You ready? Yeah. Start back or you are back? Whoa, that's forward. Right. Right, backwards. Go on, back. Whoa. Right, four uh, backwards again. Go on. Right. Forwards. Something not right here. It's gone in too easy. <laughs> Something's not right here. It's going to get the two good. Oh, no. John, can you go around and have a look see where the piston rod is, please? Aye. Has it gone in between the piston? Has it gone in between the glands yet? Yes. Aye. How far in is it? Is it? Can I you still? I can't see any threads. 
No, you won't do it, will you? I can't see the join either. It's new material through the through the work grounds there. Four oh, way out, it's pissing in me. Brilliant, that's it for through. It's through. Sorry. More? Yes, sorry. Go on. More. Go on. Should we go on it? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Go on. Which way? Forward. Forward, just take. Hang on, whoa. no, the direction you're going backwards. Backward, uh, backwards, uh, yes, you're going backwards. Ready? Go on. Right, stop, that'll loop. All the bolts have stopped with us. Huh? They're all stopped where they should be. I just get them comfortable and I turn them to the next hole and forward. Yeah, I just get them comfortable, then I take them to the next hole forward. Right. Straight as a split pin, I find it. I know where the holes are. Like so. Can you mind what we did with the split pin? Uh, <laughs> what we did with it? Right. <laughs> well, you took the bastard out. Oh, did I? <laughs> you sure you didn't? No. Might be here somewhere. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Right on, John, away you go, lad. It's coming towards top dead centre, it's away now. Go on, keep it going. Go on, that's it, yeah. Lovely, keep it going. Keep it nice, up. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, top dead centre, steady, go on, keep it going. Go on, whoa, back a bit. Go on, go on. That'll do, you top dead centre there. Quite formidable counterweight, there, aren't they? Yeah. So the camshaft up there, Rich, that's obviously gear driven. Yeah, the top one's the steam camshaft. Yeah. The bottom one's the exhaust camshaft. Right, I know on a car they run half engine speed. What about on this? Half engine speed. Half engine speed, the same. Yes. Yeah. The same as a four stroke, really. Yep. Imagine them doing 800 RPM. Doing what? Can you imagine them doing 800 RPM. I'm going to lying here on me, I'll tell you. Are your arms tired yet? No. no I'm just getting the oil work through it. Once you've got 
once again it's just time to say thanks very much for watching the video for clicking the like button and for subscribing and as usual a massive thanks to all the well wishes that are still coming in towards my wife Dev and my dad uh, it really it really goes to show there's some really nice people out there in the world uh, everything's not as bad as some people would like you to believe anyway thanks once again